There are many technology options for the flow meter research and selection process. It can be challenging to narrow down the choices to the most effective technology for an application. There are primarily two types of flow technologies, volumetric flow and thermal mass flow. This video will discuss the basic aspects of these technologies to help guide you toward the right technology for your industrial gas flow measurement application. The following is a list of the most commonly used technologies in industrial markets. Thermal mass flow meters utilize the thermal sensing principle by using a constant temperature differential to measure the mass flow rate of air and gases. Thermal dispersion flow meters provide the following features. They are suitable for gas applications and work with both clean and dirty gases. They provide mass flow measurement. There is no need for temperature or pressure compensation. Thermal dispersion flow meters offer a low pressure drop, are cost effective, have no moving parts, come in a wide range of pipe sizes and have a range ability of 100 to 1. Turbine meters use the mechanical action of a spinning rotor in obstruction to the flow to measure the volumetric flow in the pipe. Turbine flow meters provide the following features. They are suitable for clean gas applications. They provide volumetric flow measurement and may require temperature or pressure compensation to calculate mass flow. Turbine flow meters have a high pressure drop. They are medium relative cost, but also use a rotor, which may increase maintenance costs. They are available in a wide range of pipe sizes and have a rangeability of 20 to 1. Vortex flow meters place an obstruction in the path of the gas flow to create a swirling of the gas. The pressure variations caused by the swirling effect are measured by a sensor, or sensors, placed after the obstruction. Vortex shedding flow meters provide the following features. They are suitable for clean and dirty gas applications. They provide volumetric flow measurement and may require temperature or pressure compensation to calculate mass flow. Vortex shedding flow meters have a medium pressure drop and a moderate relative cost. They use a mechanical sensor, and long-term vibrations may increase maintenance or require recalibration. They are available in a wide range of pipe sizes, and have a rangeability of 10 to 1. When flow is present in the tubes of a Coriolis flow meter, a natural twisting action occurs in the tubes. Pickoff coils and magnets measure the twisting effect, or oscillation. As the tubes oscillate, the voltage generated from each pickoff creates a sine wave, indicating the motion of one tube in relationship to the other. The time delay between these two sine waves is called delta T, and is directly proportional to the mass flow rate. Coriolis flow meters provide the following features. They are suitable for clean and dirty gas applications. There is no need for temperature or pressure compensation. Coriolis flow meters have a low pressure drop, are relatively expensive, and have no moving parts. They are available in a limited range of pipe sizes, and have a rangeability of 10 to 1. Differential pressure measurement is a common technology for measuring flow in a closed pipe. DP flow solutions are made up of a primary element, such as an orifice plate, which introduces a pressure drop. A secondary element, such as a transmitter, measures the differential pressure and applies Bernoulli's equation to calculate the flow. Differential pressure flow measurement provides the following features. They are suitable for clean and dirty gas applications. They require temperature or pressure compensation. Differential pressure flow measurement has a high pressure drop. They are low cost and have no moving parts. They are available in a wide range of pipe sizes and have a rangeability of 3 to 1. Positive displacement flow meters use gears or pistons to divide the flow into fixed metered volumes. The timing of the metered volume determines the volumetric flow rate. Positive displacement flow meters provide the following features. They are suitable for clean gas applications. They provide volumetric flow measurement and may require temperature or pressure compensation to calculate mass flow. Positive displacement flow meters have a high pressure drop. They are relatively high cost and use gears and pistons which increase maintenance. They are available in a wide range of pipe sizes and have a rangeability of 15 to 1. Ultrasonic flow meters emit ultrasound pulses in the flow path. Using either transit time or Doppler effect, these flow meters calculate the volumetric flow rate. Ultrasonic flow meters provide the following features. They are suitable for clean or dirty gas applications. They provide volumetric flow measurement and may require temperature or pressure compensation to calculate mass flow. Ultrasonic flow meters have a low pressure drop. 
They are high cost and have no moving parts and low maintenance. They are available in a wide range of pipe sizes and have a rangeability of 20 to 1. Here is a summary of benefits for thermal mass flow technology. Direct mass flow measurement of air and gases in standard volumetric units or mass units. No additional pressure or temperature compensation required. Repeatability and exceptionally broad measurement range, up to 1000 to 1. Standard linear 4 to 20 mA output proportional to mass flow rate. Low pressure drop. No moving parts. Cost effective. Insertion inline in remote styles. Measures flow rate and temperature. For more information about Fox Thermal products in Kansas, Iowa, Nebraska, and Missouri, contact Power Specialties. Call them at 816-353-6550 or visit www.powerspecialties.com.